All right, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve the last two corner parity on a four x four. So if you find this video helpful, hit the like button, also comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the solve. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve the last two corners. Uh, in this case, they're right here in the front. In some cases, they could be diagonal to one another. For learning purposes, I'm gonna teach you how to complete this puzzle using the basic method. Obviously, there are other more advanced ways to solve this puzzle, but if you're new to this puzzle and you're looking for a quick solve to learn this parody, I'm gonna complete the puzzle solve using the basic method. So keep in mind, when I'm referring to middle right, I'm referring to this, and I'm referring to middle left, I'm referring to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So when you're solving this, I always try to hold the two unsolved corner pieces in the front. In some cases, they can be diagonal to one another. Either way, pick a spot and go with it. I'm holding it like this, so follow along. So middle right, two, U2, middle right, two, upper and middle upper, right here, two, middle right, two, these two, Two. And there you have it. So now we're going to go ahead and perform the rest of this. More or less, you're probably going to have it to where you have these two pieces completely solved. Now it's time to get these, you know, swapped. So I'm going to go ahead and do R, U2, R inversed, U inversed, R, U inversed, R inversed. All right, so now we're going to need to rotate this puzzle. We need to swap these now. And you're going to perform this again. R, U2, R inversed, U inversed, R, U inversed, R inversed, U inversed. And now they're all lined up. So now it's time to find a corner that actually is in the right placement, which is this one. So we're gonna hold this corner piece to the bottom right, and we're gonna perform this algorithm. It's gonna be L inversed, U, R, U inversed, L, U, R inversed, U inversed. All right, so now you'll see that all of these corner pieces are in the correct placement. Now for the last step. All right, since all of these pieces are in the correct placement, you can pick any side you want. So let's go ahead and stop right here. And now, however, if you had some solved pieces, you would put the solved pieces to your left side. Since there are no solved pieces, you could pick any location and go with it. So in this case, we'll start here and we're gonna go R, U2, R inversed, U inversed, R, U inversed, R inversed. Now we're gonna hold the cube in the same place like this and go to the opposite side. So it's gonna be L inversed, U2, L, U, L inversed, U, L. All right, it looks like this piece is, is actually completely solved. So we're gonna hold this in the bottom left-hand corner and do it all over again. It's gonna be R, U2, R inversed, U inversed, R, U inversed, R inversed. Again, we're gonna hold it right here and go L inversed, U2, L, U, L inversed, U, L. Now these are solved. Holding them again to the left side, perform it again. R, U2, R inversed, U inversed, R, U inversed, R inversed. You're gonna go L inversed, U2, L, U, L inversed, U, L. And it actually needs it done one more time. So sometimes this happens really quickly, sometimes it just solves right away. But either way, since we're doing the basic method, this does take a while. One more time. R, U2, R inversed, U inversed, R, U inversed, R inversed. L inversed, U2, L, U, L inversed, U, L. And now it's completely solved. 